Hi, I'm Anna French, and this is my dog Cagney, and we live in my van, Casper. I spent the last seven years traveling around the world, living on five different continents, really just trying to explore other cultures. I was really focusing on sort of the healthcare systems, and I was working on different education and healthcare projects in different communities. Did a lot of backpacking along the way in Africa and South America, Australia, New Zealand, a little bit in Europe. I was doing that for work mostly, but it's always my passion. The van life idea kind of helped me find a way to be able to keep traveling, but also explore my own country because I felt like I hadn't done enough of that. This is Casper. Um, Casper is a 2016 slightly used Ford Transit cargo van with a low top and a standard length. I bought Casper for about 24,000 with 18,000 miles on it and I've put about 10,000 on it in the last few months. I installed a fantastic fan onto the top and I also installed two 160 watt solar panels. My battery, I have a Yeti 1400, the lithium battery. This is the back. This is where I keep all my camping gear. And in my chuck box is where some of my more like valuable electronics and things are stored. So I kind of created the design so that I could have access points from three areas. So from back here, there's two points of entry inside. I can get things out from in between and on the other end. Welcome to the inside of my van. This is my kitchen slash bathroom area. I've got this fridge where I store some of my perishables. This is my pantry and inside just my dry food. And then behind, this is actually a bread box that I stole from my mom's kitchen. And behind that, I've got my pots and pans, my kettle. So it all fits pretty snug and the tension rod helps keep it in place while I'm driving. Also have the tension rod on the outside of my fridge and inside of my fridge. Up here I've got my really useful 3-in-1 coffee pot, toaster oven, hot plate, which I use on the daily. Just a little bit of storage up here, things I use every day, and I've got some of my air plants just to give the area a little bit of light energy. This sink I installed in, it's got a hand pump and I've got a five gallon water storage system under here. This is for the input and then I have the output rigged underneath here. Also just kind of have some of my cleaning supplies and cooking utensils and things like that back there. Here is the Yeti 1400, where I directly plug in all of my things to charge. Currently, it's running the tube lights in here, and it's also charging right now from the sun, and it runs my fan. So underneath this section of the bed, I have my stool and a little bit of my wardrobe. This is what I use while I'm cooking or um, doing anything really in here, working on my laptop sometimes because I can't stand up, so this helps with that. And I also store some of my clothes in there, and so it's got a few purposes. And then behind there, I've got my stove, which is a one burner butane stove. Behind that is another, my larger pantry. I've got dry food, and then my dresser behind that, and camping gear. So it's fully stocked. I made like the structure of the bed frame exactly so that it would fit this in. This is my bathroom area, which I use in emergencies. Um, and I just store some like toilet paper and cleaning supplies back there. And I made a special compartment, so this is separate. There's a wall around the whole bathroom area so that if in case something happened, it would not get on anything else. 
So this is my living room and bedroom area where I sleep and Cagney sleeps as well. And it also converts into a table, bed, like couch area. So I bought a six inch memory foam mattress, cut it up with a bread knife. So it's kind of a puzzle to get it in here. It's five separate pieces. And it was a queen size mattress originally. And that is my dining room. These are two separate storage areas that I built. Um, and that is the output of water and my tent and sleeping bag. My insulation, I used Reflectix um, on the floor. It's just Reflectix and then about a half inch of plywood and then this vinyl on top. And then the walls are a layer of Reflectix and then R14 fiberglass and then just these panels. So in my cockpit area, I have my World Globe and my Coca Pelli, which reminds me and keeps me grounded of my roots, which are in Arizona. I think it's really important for females to travel by themselves and I think we're living in a time where it's the most doable. There's this misconception that it's really dangerous or scary but it's not really either of those things and I think traveling around the world as a solo female really helped kind of give me the, the courage and the knowledge that it's it's a lot safer than the media would have you. While I was a little bit nervous to travel in a van by myself I kind of just went for it. I've never felt in danger. I think it's important to kind of do it on your own. You shouldn't wait until you have someone to do it because you never know what's going to happen in life. Everything changes in a second and you don't want to like lose your opportunity if you're in a place in your life where you can do it now. I think it's a great way to get a better idea of what you're capable of and once you can live in a van by yourself or travel to another country by yourself. You have this courage, this strength that no one can ever take from you and you feel like you can do anything. You realize what you're capable of, how far your mind can take you. I really want to inspire other people to take more risks and go out and try that thing that they've always dreamt about doing. Not waiting because life doesn't wait for you. You have to just kind of make the decisions and the rest kind of falls into place. You don't have to have it all figured out. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to keep following my journey in the van with Casper, be sure to check out my website, spinthegloveproject.com, or follow me on Instagram, at spinthegloveproject. Peace. Have a great week.